guess that's a little better. Lighting, mm -hmm. how's the lighting? Lighting decent? Mm -hmm. yeah, it bueno, bueno. It's really crappy outside. It's storming, it's storming all day. It gets a little dark in this room. But anyways, what's up guys? Tyler and Nolan, welcome to the freaking show. So look who's back, Alex. I don't know if you guys remember him from previous videos. This is Alex. He's doing venomous hours here. He was doing them for a, a few months beforehand. Then he went to go work with Jay for a little bit and I lost him. He had you too busy, bro. Busy. busy. That's a sweet mustache though, too. Woo! Call him the tickler. Man, I gotta, I gotta shave my thing again. We could be mustache brothers. Together. Mm -hmm. So anyways. Alex is back over here with me. We're going to start back up on his hours. Now that he's not over at the jungle anymore. Now he's working for FWC. Catching big ass Burmese pythons in the Everglades. Yeah. You just do Burmese pythons or just any big invasive stuff? Uh, pretty much anything. It's mostly Burmese. Snakes, yeah, yeah, but, but it's mostly much. Burmese in, in the Everglades. Why you find other stuff. Huge Burmese pythons down here. The record right now is what, 14 feet? 18 feet. Nine. 18 feet. Jason's got... Yeah, we're going to try to beat that. We're going to get 20 footer. I think we could find a 20 footer. 20 footer 2020 is, is the goal. So we're going to go out soon. I'm going to do a uh, we're going to do a python hunting video on here cuz I think that's fun. That's some that's some straight up Florida stuff. And I love Florida stuff obviously. <laughs> so today we're going to uh, the false water cobra down here. We're going to take them out, talk about them, do a couple things. Hopefully don't get bit. He's a he's a non he's a oh, he's a venomous snake. He's a rear fang venomous snake. So we're gonna get him out. Not deadly. Nothing, nothing too crazy. You're going with that little hook? Yeah, I guess that little hook will be alright. So yeah, we got a new cage right here. This is a three foot vision cage. Are you moving them? Yeah, we're gonna move. So we got him in this little two footer now. They get pretty big. I'll go over that in a bit. But He's definitely outgrowing that two foot vision. So this three foot vision is gonna be pretty good for him from probably the next year. And then eventually, whether it's a male or female, I'm not sure, I gotta sex him out again. I'm gonna move him to one of these four foots. But for now, we're just gonna move him into the three foot. So, first time back doing Venomous in a while. It's been a little bit. What, what I want you to do is I want you to open up the cage and then you're gonna take him out. This is a great beginner, venomous snake for, to training with. The reason why I like using false water cobras or indigos are even better because the indigo it'll bite you and it's not even gonna hurt. I mean it's gonna, the teeth are gonna hurt a little bit. You can ask Alex about that. Alex has been bit by the indigo. But he has not been bitten by that false water cobra yet. Yet. I say yet Keyword. because it might happen. But even if it does happen, that false water cobra ain't gonna kill you. Can we put stuff in there first? No, let's uh, we'll we'll put stuff in that cage here in a minute. But right now, I just want you to open up the glass. Now, see what you just did? You just opened it with your hand. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah. Always open up the glass with a tool. I'm gonna give you. This is gonna be like a little refresher course to like freshen up your your venomous handling. Mm -hmm. That's rule number one, though. You never open up a venomous cage. You see me do it all the time, but you'll end up with no fingers like me. So don't do that. I do it, I'm a trained professional. Alex is starting, he's gotta do it outright. So you always open up the glass with a hook. So let's get that little guy out. He's very feisty. He's my good friend. Now you see that hood? See how he flattens out? False water cobras, they flatten out their skin, they flatten out their body like a cobra. They just do not, they don't rear up, they don't they don't hold their bodies up in the air. They stay horizontal. 
So remember, go for that back loop. Get his tail out. Nicely grab him by the tail. And then we'll get him out. Yeah, see, yeah, he's a jerk. He's I've never seen a snake. Definitely flailing like around. That. And now that you almost have him out, he does look like a male. He's got a very long tail. He hasn't been growing too fast. If he was a female, he would be a lot bigger. There you go. You're almost there. Oh, nice. You can just put him right here. Let's hold him right on the floor like that. I almost took my foot off. But yeah, you're alright. Just let him chill for a little bit. Yep, he's going to flail around and be a psychopath. You're, you're dancing, Alex. Well, I'm quick. They call me in. Something. I don't know what they call me. <clears throat> oh, look at that. He just musked, spit water right out of him. Right, hey, get over here. Get, get, stop, hey, hey, stop it. Look at him, look at him biting the carpet. Dude, you are crazy. What are you doing? Relax, man. Relax. He's musking everywhere, he's spitting. Look, he just grabbed the carpet right there. The crazy little snake. So this is a false water cobra. He is real freaking mean. Now, they are they are chewers also. He does not have front fixed fangs like a lapid do. This is not an lapid. This is not a true cobra. This is, look at him, he's such a jerk. God. What a mean freaking false water cobra. Normally, honestly, this is a horrible example. Males tend to be a little bit meaner. I've, I mean, I've only had a few males and they're always meaner than the females. The big females that I have had in the past were always sweethearts for some reason. But anyways, normally they are very chill snakes that are in the pet trade. Uh, a lot of other states, you can just buy them online. You can buy them in any pet store. Like I said, this is not an elapid. It is, it is a rear fanged venomous snake. The venom is not deadly. It's not even bad at all. It is very uncomfortable. Uh, it is very uncomforting. It makes you sick. It definitely hurts. This snake is not like a not like a cobra with front fangs that's going to just bite and let go real fast. When this guy bites you, see how he did with the carpet? They're chewers. They're rear fangs, so they don't really they don't really have the capability of injecting a more potent venom easily with those front fangs. These guys have several teeth in the back that they need to do more of a chew to envenomate their prey. So. Definitely don't have the best response or the best uh, delivery system. Definitely, oh, would you relax? Chill out, chill out, dude. Now, if I were to try to try to grab him anywhere else, this snake would just turn around, grab me in the arm, and start chewing. They're jerks. So this is a South African snake, South African colubrid. Okay. Um, they, they like it really wet, honestly. They live in the marshlands and rice paddies, and uh, they're known, uh, they like to swim a lot. This guy is always in his water bowl, so I'm gonna make sure I give him a nice big water bowl in that cage right there. Hopefully he'll grow a little faster. Man, he almost got my freaking shoe on that one. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'll be me that gets bit before Alex. But yeah, I mean, he's, he's a decent colored one. He's actually, he's pretty dark for a false water. Uh, a lot of times they're a little bit on the lighter color. He's definitely a little wet on the darker side, but he's a jerk. He did look at him flatten up <laughs> like that. Now you see how they stay more horizontal. They don't really, uh, they don't stand up and hood like other cobras. So, oh Jesus, that was close. You see how close he got to my hand? Came right up after me. Did you freaking relax, bro? I'm trying to hold you. Ah, God, go bite me in the freaking knee. Crazy. Crazy little snakes. They're really cool though. They're easy to breed. Uh, I used to have a pair back in the day. I used to breed them. We used to sell them at Underground. This is before Florida had them on the venomous uh, list. Back in the day when I, when I grew up working with snakes and I grew up working at Underground, you did not need a venomous permit to have a false water cobra. You could just go into a store and buy one. Now you have to have a permit. Which honestly I think is it's, it's whatever. It's it's honestly kind of stupid, but I get I get it. You can have them anywhere else. Like California, you don't have to have a license, and a bunch of other places, you don't have to have a license at all. But Florida is a little bit different. So I am going to let him go. Actually, you know what? Let's set this cage up first. 
All right, so check this out. See how we got this set up here? Heat light, got the hide boxes in there, and then I use this Sterilite for his water bowl. So it's not just a water bowl. They also hang out in the water a lot. Like false water cobras, they're known to just sit in their water bowls all the time. And that's what he does. He likes to sit in the water for the most part. So it's gotta be bigger, because he's getting bigger. So he's got a little room to chill. All right, let's take this Hydro Nasties Gigas out of here. That's scientific for it. If you guys didn't know, another reason. Cobras, Naga most. Obviously King Cobra is not Naga, but King Cobra is also not technically a Cobra. I don't know if you ever knew that. Technically, a King Cobra is not a Cobra. Newsflash. Anyways, back to this. False water. There you go. Get him out there, Alex. go just like that on by the tail midsection nice and smooth right in there and now just like before whoop, 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 it came right at your hand right there bro Almost see there. this is why training with false water cobras is great because you see how that cobra just came back or that snake just came back around try to go for his hand it's pretty much what you want to do yeah, close that thing with the hook Watch his head, see he's coming back at you. He's like, yo, I'm coming back out, man. He's nice and close. Bada bing, bada boom. You did it. You passed, bro. Making, making progress, that's what matters. Yep. So that's it. All right, well, we're gonna get back to doing things in the snake room. Just wanted to do a little false water cobra video. His first day back. Glad to be back. Yep. Back in the Sunshine State. Yes, sir. More to come. I feel like we're going to do some more training videos. We're going to definitely do more handling videos. Obviously, practicing safe handling with these guys. I do not freehand anything with them. Everything is with hooks and done safely until you are years on. Years and years from now, when you have your own shit, you can do whatever you want with it. But when you're in my house, we got to do things safely. Um... What else are we going to be doing soon that I'm pretty stoked about? Oh, I'm going to make a video about how to get your Venomous license. Seeing how so many people ask me all the time. Every time I answer my emails, there is at least 10 to 15 emails from people about, Hey, I have a corn snake. Hey, I don't even have any snakes, but I want to get some Venomous. I'm going to make a video just for those questions and tell you how I feel about that. So stay tuned for that. And much more. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to this video. Comment down below. Till next time. Ooh, man, I think I'm still messed up. Messed him up on a bike last week. Anyway, till next time. Peace out. Yeah, I swear they never really understand me. I need a comment like I need a Grammy. She needs to flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eat panty, check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet to sign a major for the bank roll. But thank the Lord that it dies a penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is in mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gym, taking my pockets lines till I get arthritis. Switch my heart is icy, walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Cool, like hella cloudy or the poison ivy. If I'm like a stroller with a co-sign me, I don't even like me. No, I'm staring the mirror in different rooms, this nigga.